Hi everybody, it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design. I'm back with APCs, but this is kind of different. I've never tried this before. I imagine some of you have seen these, maybe even own these. It's the novelty. It is a full deck of cards, but they're big. These are called Giant. They're not quite 5x7. These are called, what was it, Mega Jumbo. They're not Mega, they're Jumbo. They're Mega Jumbo. And these are about 8 by 11. Now these, I'm not going to do today, but I wanted to show them. Um, yeah. Has anybody worked with these? Do tell. What do you do with them? Awfully big. So yeah, think about that. And yeah, I can do APCs with these, and I probably will at some point. But not today, because they're so big. They're mega jumbo. Anyway, these... I thought I'd start a little more um, doable, in my opinion. If you've never used these, they're a little chintzy. No offense to the giant playing card people. They're kind of chintzy. And they're, they are plastic coated, but really plastic coated. So I took the liberty of sanding a little bit to see if that it'll work. And yeah, I think it'll work. Okay. And then I pulled some images, and yeah, just for the record, and it could be because I'm used to the standard size playing cards, I had a hard time finding stuff for these, for main images for me. Either it was too big or too small. Really, I spent, I don't know, at least 20 minutes scouring around trying to find stuff that's not going to be too big or too small on these. So let me fussy cut my images. I may do a little pre-sanding or card choosing off camera, and then I will come back. Um, just in case you want to see, this is Birds and Blue magazine. This is a paper doll uh, outfit. You know, it's cut out of a paper doll book. A somewhat contemporary book. Old Holly Hobby wrapping paper. This was a bought off the internet um, collage sheet. And this is like the only part I have left of that. This is scrap of paper. I mainly just want the bird. I'm not thrilled with their words there. But I thought, I don't know, maybe these colors are something. So we'll see. And this is an old, very cheap uh, broom label. And I thought maybe cutting the bird out of that. Okay. I will cut, maybe sand, I don't know, and come back. Okay, I'm back. I chose a card for each one. I sanded where I think I need to sand. And just for the record, um, it does make it look kind of neat and distressed if you just want to do that for the look, not because you need to for the glue. Anyway, this is the back of an old sewing pattern. Yeah, getting the price? Okay, no comment. But anyway, I think that's almost too busy because of the skirt pattern there. What about these? It's okay. I don't have a Real big opinion on it. Actually, I like it on that side better. But it fits there very well, doesn't it? Okay. Now what? I just really don't need this. <laughs> um, I was going to say a pattern, a scrap of paper, but I don't know that you want it because of that. Okay, let me just grab... I got my scrapbook paper basket of scraps here. Well, I think that's the pattern is too small. It's like that. So you have two small patterns together. I don't like that. I suppose if you found the exact perfect paper, it would be okay. You could go blue too. 
That's um, actually that's a really good color, but it's way too busy. No, no, no. And I could paint. That crossed my mind too. I, I had my paint up here for my last project, and I left it, thinking that. Well. <laughs> All right, what do you want to talk about? Well, how about we just had, it was didn't last too long, but a little snowstorm that had the, the really huge fluffy flakes. It's actually kind of pretty. And I was lucky enough that I was home. I didn't have to be out in it, so I was actually very grateful for that. All right, let's talk about, you know, what we're doing here. So what am I going to do with these when they're done? I guess I'll do the same as I do with the small ones. I can either put paper on the back to make them journaling cards or just leave them as like art pieces. Although they definitely are not going to fit in my binder with the baseball card sleeves. They're a little large. But you could possibly add them to a greeting card. You could probably um, put paper on the back and make them like a postcard. I personally would not put them through the mail, um, but make them look more like a postcard. And then if you really wanted to send it to somebody, still put it in an envelope. That's kind of cute. All right, maybe something like that, and then like a word. Does it need more? I don't know. I get to grab my word envelope that I said before. A lot of these I pulled more thinking journaling, so it may not apply. Yeah, I don't know what era, well, it looks 70s to me, but when this was really supposed to have come out, I don't know, I, a friend of mine had some of these already cut out for crafts and stuff, never used them, so she gave them to me, so I don't know what it's actually from. I think it's from those Dover, you know, paper doll books, but what one, I don't know. Well, I kind of like this because of the color, but is it like way too big? And what, what does that really have to do with a paper doll or a paper doll dress? It's okay. All right, we'll put this aside as is for gluing and possible rethinking. All right, the Holly Hobby illustration here. My first thought was the gold, like her coat and hat, and I went, yeah, that's okay. But I kind of, the more I was looking at it, I was thinking, it's kind of bright. I mean, it's... I mean, it's the same color, but it's not bright, bright. So I went, well, what about more something like this? And yes, I like that better. So I cut this tan to fit over the clubs there. But I left this out thinking maybe it could run a strip under or above or something. It's more like an accent. You know, like that. Or even like that. Well, I'm not going to do that because it'll show through. Yeah, keep that in mind if you're using, you know, this is wrapping paper. That, can you tell? Those clubs actually would 
show through there. And as I noticed, as I was trimming this straight, this has got tape on it. It is actual wrapping paper, you know, it was on a gift years ago. And I went, oh, nuts. I, well, I'll get a different piece because I do have others. But it's like, well, I don't care. I don't care. So I love it. Oh, we have practicing. <laughs> Sorry, group. I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, get under there. Yeah, okay, I kind of like that. And then it had dawned on me, I could paint or marker rain, maybe. I'm not sure, you know, how that's going to take because it's so plasticky. All right, let me pause since I don't think anyone wants to listen to someone learning their scales. And I'll look for a word for this one, and then I'll come back. Okay, that went on a little longer than I was expecting. So I was rooting around for an umbrella on scrap of paper. I know I have somewhere. Of course, I couldn't find it. But in rooting, I found this paper. It says, rain, rain, go away, and then these clouds. So I think that's a good start with this one. Definitely... A word, a stitching, a ribbon, I don't know. But that's good enough to start. So then when I went ahead and pulled for the next, while well, I was waiting for the concert to stop. Um, normally I, I'm just kind of doing base stuff now, but this flower happened to be in the basket there. So I'm like, oh, that kind of matches. So there's that one. It's just scrapbook and a little fabric. Okay. Now we're up to the boxer. I guess that's a boxer. Hmm. Well, it's okay. I'm not overly enthused. bad. I'm not liking this. It's something across that, I would say, or even ribbon or something. There, you want to see what I'm looking at? It's the same old stuff. No. Yeah, I could use magazine text and stuff, too. So, have any of you ever used these jumbo cards? Not too bad. Just, I wish... They were a little more like the real cards, but the thickness and that. Not too bad. And then we could still leave this. Yeah, I kind of like that. A good start. The fabric doesn't have to be there, but it, it matches. <laughs> but it matches. How about this one that, you know, is all wrinkled up. Well, it's kind of cute. All right, I think that's a good start for that, and I think I'm going to have to sand. You want me to do that so I can show? I have this little, I should probably replace it, sand, paper. I have no idea what, you know, number it is. Let's see, where do we want that? Like here. And I just literally just... And then, of course, I don't have one handy, but I will go get... So you get a lot of dust. I knock it off in my garbage can, and then I take a... 
a wet paper towel. This is not wet. But wet and wipe it off, and then I take a dry and wipe it off, and then I wipe off where it was because if you can tell but yeah you do get quite a lot of sand and if I do a lot of them I go rinse off my hands too okay all right that's a good start for this one yeah I hope these um you know can be sewn on I don't know why not but they're yeah, they're very, you can tell by the glare, very plasticky in feel. Because the one time, I don't get glare around here, right? Okay, anyway, this one, you know, the bird is actually, to get all of him on there, he's got to be pretty far over. So I don't think I want the king back there. Um... I had pulled this pad for these colors. It's not bad. So even the pink. That's kind of cute. All right, let's do the pink. How big is this space? I don't know. Yeah, two and seven eighths. It's got to be a weird size, right? Four. Yeah, I don't know. Four and a bit. Well, I'm not sure if this is wide enough. We just make the no. Use the new paper. Okay. Well, I will cut a rough, rough size, and then I'll go do it on my trimmer. Off camera. Oh yeah, I think we want the the black border to show or cover it. Good question. I might leave it just for interest. Don't you think it looks a little better with it than without it? yeah okay so if that was there and pretend it's cut properly then what would you do it's pretty it's longer does that matter i guess not Well, that's a pretty good start. We could just, you know, put flowers down there. It would actually be very pretty. Okay, that'll be a starting point for that. And we'll get flowers. And then I think this is the last one. Yeah, this. Which, yeah, these, um which is like the perfect width to go over it's a little narrow if i butt it up against it's a little narrow so i think i'll leave a space in there or i'll have to put something on top or bottom should the bird be on top yeah do you like that better it's straight is it no, I'll trim that up off camera. All right, I like that. There, I'm done. I like it. No, these colors match. This just sort of fell out when I was looking in my envelope before, and I just set it aside. I didn't actually put it back. Maybe there was a reason for that, huh? Oh, now we have playing dogs. Well, I guess I have to cut it apart. OK. 
I believe is unique together. No, I don't like that. Okay. Actually, that's kind of cool. You know, if you wanted to make just a simple journaling card, you could glue that down and sew around the edge. That would be pretty adequate in my book. Well, I don't know. Do you think... I was going to say, going to say, um, the background of this bird, it's sort of like a, it looks like text with like a gesso over it. I could do that around, but would that be too much of that then? I tell you what, why don't we try it? Just, if nothing, kind of like an experiment to see how it works on this stuff. I'll do kind of a little bit in this area down here. And we can all learn together. All right. Yeah, it still feels sort of slippery to me. I'm getting text. Where'd she, where'd she go? What's she doing? I'm getting text. So if we just glued some down randomly. Cotton ball fun. Have you ever had fun with cotton balls? All right, let's just glue that down. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. I haven't even glued anything to these cards yet. Maybe it'll be a complete disaster, I don't know. Actually, it's sticking fine. Okay, one disaster averted. And I do actually have gesso right here too, somewhere. I don't have a visual, but I know it's here somewhere. Alrighty. All right, if you look at theirs, it does have quite a lot of gesso or whatever it is on it. And I think I'm just going to use this tool right here. Okay, well, obviously on the paper it's fine. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess time will tell when it dries. All right. Okay, well, I got a, a tool to wash, and we'll have to let that dry. So I will come back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Quite a bit later, I took a shoveling break and a lot of other little dumb things. So I have 10 minutes before I have to start dinner now. But here I am. This one, I think it's relatively done. I did put a word up there. Um, washi tape, stitching, something definitely, but as far as the paper type stuff, I think that one's done. Okay. This one is not glued down. Well, the back is. Uh, because I'm not sure what else I'm going to put on here. And maybe I want it un a little bit under. I'm not sure. So I didn't glue this one. And just for the record, 
when I cut this paper, I got it a little short because you could tell by the way I was accurately measuring it. I kind of eyeballed it. So I took gesso in where you could see, and then I intentionally slopped it over onto the paper, and I kind of like that anyway. So I'm sort of glad that came about. So there, we have to do something with this. This one, I did stitch before I glued it down. See, there's no stitching on the back. Around, just um, for interest. I just thought it needed something. Um, and then I noticed too, I got a little carried away with the sanding apparently over here. I didn't realize that before. So to make the match, I'm going to sand this a little bit. And I think really, it's kind of cool. Before I glued this down, it kind of dawned on me. It almost looks like, you know, rain on it. Now come on, go go with me on that. I think it kind of does. <laughs> so I'm doing that quick. Yeah, I, I think it does. Okay. This one, though, definitely needs some activity down here. So flowers or something. I've got stuff here. Okay, so not done. This one's not quite done. It's close. Possibly just washy or stitching, but as long as I'm looking through this stuff, I thought maybe a flower. Definitely not done. I did not do anything with the fabric yet because I'm not sure what else I'm doing. But this definitely needs a word or flowers or something. This one is not glued down yet because, um, well, one, I did straighten this up in case you want to check on me. I ink the edges with some um, peacock feathers, Tim Holtz ink, which was like the perfect colors. Thank you, Mr. Holtz. I like that. But I did not glue it because I was thinking, you know, with these colors, I think I should paint under there. So that's a whole nother project. <laughs> you wait over there. But I thought maybe I could pull flowers or something. Maybe I have enough time for that. So let's see. This box has birds and butterflies tickets, which would be pretty good too. It's not bad. Those colors match very well. And flowers. Well, let's just take this one right here. And then hopefully, if I find what I'm looking for, then I will just glue off camera. While dinner is percolating there. And yes, we got quite a bit more snow. It started snowing again. So yeah, February is going to be the worst wintry month for my area, apparently. All right, I went to flowers and stuff. Oh, is that too... No, it's too pinky. No. No, not the right style. No. No. I wouldn't say this is the right style, but I kind of like those colors. What do you guys think? Yeah, I probably don't want to know, but how many people are going, no, 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 or yeah, that's good. Well, considering we're towards the bottom of the box, I think, yeah, 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 we're going to have to use that. So it's all right. Let's see. I won't fussy cut. I don't have time for that anyway. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then maybe I could put half of one somewhere. And actually, the shape kind of matches the club. 
But I think we'll, we still probably are going to need word possibly, definitely stitching or something. Okay, that's pretty good. Now this is gonna slide, just a minute. Okay, this one. Maybe a bird or something like that. A gray bird really would match pretty well. It's kind of cute, but then everything is down. Um, I think it's okay, washy or something. Okay. Now this one. Actually, bird is good. I don't know. My well, hair is just right up here. Still could maybe use some flowers or something, what you think? Mushrooms. I think those are a little too realistic though. I don't know, should I be doing all of this off camera? Is this way too boring? Oh, these are kind of fun. All right, you know what? I'll just leave this with this and I won't sit here and cut. Okay. Now this one, you know, should this one even have realistic flowers? Let's address that. Here, let me move this. Um, let's see, there's a couple seed catalogs, yeah, that's not a bad idea, is it? I hadn't thought of that. Now what about the... Yeah, I think realistic is a pretty good way to go. But we definitely need more than that. In my opinion, anyway. Well, are you seeing anything? I'm not. Zinnias. Are we all missing flowers now? At least in my area, I am. Ooh, peonies. I had actually this one. I had one that's very similar to this. Or have, I should say. And then a second one that was out oh, was this. Because everybody wants to know Diane's peony situation. I had these and they were so pretty. And then um, last year they didn't come up anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. They were a tad, a tad crowded, but I didn't think they were that crowded. I should, how much are those? I should get a new one. One plant is nine dollars. Hmm. <laughs> Think about that. How about this one. If I do have any gripe against peonies, as much as I love them, they don't bloom that long. All right.
right, I won't bore you with more peony information. That's definitely a good start with that. It might be enough. All right, I got to toddle off and make dinner. Um, when I come back, hopefully the stuff will be glued down. We can paint, and then we'll be up to just, you know, trim some stuff. So, okay, hang in there. I will be back. Okay, I'm back. We're up to paint. These are still not glued down because I think I want it to go under and I don't want to, you know, have to be careful going around. And that's pretty good. And I knew I had this one. And, yeah, I mean, I could ruler it out and really try to make it line up with this, but I just don't want to do that. <laughs> it's late. I'm tired. I don't want to goof around measuring things. But I want to get these done tonight. I think I have a, I have a you know theory. Artists shouldn't need money, sleep, or food. Okay. So it cuts into our creativity, you know, schedule too much. All right. You know what? I think I will, though, pencil in so I can move this very lightly. Okay, just so we kind of know. Not that we can't go past or anything under, but... All right. Yeah, and don't do what Diane does. This is a very inadequate water dish. It's way too small. The bigger juice can thing I usually use is just not handy. How's that for an excuse? put this color more in the middle. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I could put dots too because of that dotting there on the bird. All right, let's try that. I think we need a smaller brush. Um, I guess this one is okay. What color and where? And of course that's wet, so I really can't set these down. Well, I think over here, Maybe pink because there's blues on this side to make it stand out a little bit. I don't know. And you know, just as a note, do I need to say in that? Yeah, nuts. Um, I was gonna say, so I decided on this magenta color here. Maybe you think, oh no, it should be the teal. Fine, <laughs> you know. There, there are different ways to do things. You don't have to, just because somebody else used red, think, oh, well, okay. If you think it should be a different color, you do what you think. Apparently I can't paint dots and talk at the same time. I don't know. I like it, but it looks a little uh, lost there. I think we need more. I 
And yes, I did get the other ones uh, glued down with their little accent pieces there. So we're kind of up to trims, washi, sewing. And I really hope I can get these done tonight. All right, I think we need to curve it around, but maybe add another color just because now there's more of it. So it's getting a little redundant. I say that word a lot too. I'm redundant in the use of the word redundant. That's clever, Diane. Why don't you put a bed? Ooh. See, if I had my water can, that wouldn't have happened. Not too watery. All right, can we tell? I was thinking of inking the edge of the card with that same color as, the, as on this. Okay, getting there. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're sanding there. Uh, I don't think there is. All right, what about that? And let's hope it doesn't pop right off because there's no sanding there. Yeah, that's pretty good. But now I think we need to pull it up here. <laughs> All right. Maybe just to be different, we'll use some of this color. Oh, gee. Watching you draw little dots or paint little dots is real thrilling. Now, if dots are not your thing, they're hard to do, you can use the end of a paintbrush or a pencil eraser. But if you have a good brush, it shouldn't be too difficult. And if they're not perfect dots, it doesn't matter. Well, I would have been done tonight if I didn't goof around with all these dots, right? More paint, please. All right, what does this do? I may not be able to finish tonight anyway, just because this paint is dry. Uh, dry. Yeah. <laughs> Diane, shut up, shut up, and go to bed. All right, I think, yeah, we're getting too dotty. So, okay, that's all I'm going to do with this for now. I think I will let that dry, then glue those images down, and then take it from there. Okay, let me cap the paint here, and then we can move on. There, doesn't that look thrilling? <laughs> what did she do to that card? Okay, dry. Don't fall. I just stay there. Okay. This one, I put the bird up here. I think that looks better. This one, I think, I might be able to get away with just stitching. Okay, stitching. Go in the stitching pile. This one, that I forgot, it was set aside. Well, I think stitching. I don't. 
I could put ribbons. Here, let me try it. Here, let me set the paint aside. It's the trim and ribbon boxes. Of course, the ribbon's on the bottom. Here. Well, it has a good blue here. It's probably too dark. Well, am I getting any opinions that I want to hear? <laughs> I could live with that a little bit there. Now let's try that. Where are my trim scissors, we'll call them. Yeah, let's go to this ugly color of paint water. Um, all right, that's awfully close to the edge of the counter. If you guys hear a splash and I just turn the camera off, it means the water spilled all over the floor and I decided to call it quits for today. All right, that's kind of pretty. What do you think? There or there? See now there, I, I can see both sides of that argument. I think it could go either place. I think I'm gonna put it up here, but it's pretty good down there. Hmm. And then let's see, do we think we went stitching on this one? Good question. I don't know, because I kind of like this area open, so to speak, if you stitch. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to have to think about that one. Okay. This one, I put the bird up here and then added those circle things here. And I think, you know, I had, at the very beginning, I had said I might put in raindrops on the card, but there really isn't that much space left for that. But I think I want a few more drops just here. I'm going to try to make it like they have it there. Or I guess I should say, should say she, not they. Okay, I think that's adequate. Now, does this want a trim or just stitching or nothing? It's done. What do you think? Maybe something on this. Um, but what? Uh, I got too much stuff in here. That's kind of pretty. I think that's too much. Yeah, I think it's too much. It's very pretty. It matches. You could do it, but I think it, this stuff is more pale. I don't think it matches that well. But if you want to do that, go ahead. No, too wide. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. What about this?
That's okay. What do you guys think? It may, you know, I kind of like it because of the tens. They're black there. Okay. Let's do that. Is there a right and wrong side of this? I'm not sure. I guess if you're not sure, it doesn't matter too much. All right, which side was straighter? This one, except it's got a stray thread. Okay, it still has a stray thread. Where'd it go? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's behind it, that's okay. Or maybe it's right there. There, I got it. Okay, this side. And yeah, just, you know, to continue my ongoing weather report, I think it's sleeting now. Ah, great. <laughs> I thought that thread would just pull off. It raveled. Nuts. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to have trouble because I'm kind of... I'm not trying to hurry, but like I said, I kind of wanted to get this done tonight, so you know I'm going to have trouble, right? All right, let me wipe these scissors off. Okay. Let me hold it up. I think this one might be done. I don't know if I want stitching around because we have it here. But I'll set that aside for the trim to dry. Okay, the boxer. I did not put this fabric down. Um, originally I had it here. But I thought maybe down here would be a little better. And then I just realized this is cut. <laughs> See, I told you I was going to have trouble. I wanted this ticket down lower to conceal that um, edge there, and I forgot about it. Okay, what are you going to do about that? Let me grab another one of those flowers. Hang on, they're right here somewhere. match with it. No. Oh, nuts. All right, let me pause and find that paper. Just a minute. Okay. Problem solved. Put another flower over it. Anyway, I was saying I could sew this down here and then I think just sew around. I think that would be adequate for that. Do we want a little word or something though up there? Yeah, Did I, I think I put my words away. All right, remember that tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write a note. <laughs> Word for boxer. Because, I, yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish these tonight. As much as I want to, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get starting to get tired and cranky, and it's not going to work. Okay, what about this one? And besides the fact that's still wet. I was thinking, here's this, it's all glued down. Yeah, actually, isn't that pretty? I, well, I like pink, but um, that could be done. I, I really even kind of thought I like it like that, but um, of scrunching the gingham, like kind of a little bit top and bottom, and sewing around, that was the thought there. Get rid of that. I don't know. What do you think? I was thinking, you know, white thread, but maybe not black thread all the way around. I don't know. What do you think? All right, think about that. Let's see if we could tell what this is doing. Yeah, it's still wet right there. 
All right, pretend this is up more. I don't know, what do you think? Enough paint? Too much paint? You know what I should have done? In lieu of dots, I should have splattered. But I was trying to, you know, emulate those. But I think spatters might have looked better. I could probably peel them right off, right? Oh, you can. <laughs> well, all right. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, see, look, they're coming right off. I wonder when this is all done. Maybe I should spray these. Okay, see, it's not coming off as well where it was sanded. So there's your lesson. Yeah, see, those are not coming off as well. They are, though. All right, let me get that ucky water back. That behaved itself. It didn't fall. And let's do some spattering. And let me move this card aside. Of course, I'm not going to be able to spray for a while. Our, our temperature is supposed to really plummet. And I... I have to spray this stuff outside. I can't. I can't do it in the house or my basement or something. It, it'll, it'll make me ill. Yeah, I like that better. Do we want a little of the teal color on there too? Why not? It's a little thick. All right, well, now what do we think? Anyway, I didn't finish that. So it's gonna be too cold to actually spray outside or in my garage, so I'll have to wait. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, well, I have to let this dry. I gotta get rid of this water, I gotta clean up this counter, and I gotta go to bed. All right, guys and dolls, I will pick this up tomorrow. Have a nice night. Okay, here we be all together again. That's Briscoe Darling on the Annie Griffiths show. And as sunny as it is, I mean, you can't see, I had to block the sun out. It's like 10 degrees here, Fahrenheit. That's exciting. Anyway, we have a mess here because, one, I'm not quite done, and two, I was letting things glue because, yeah, these, they're coming up on this stuff. Some of it's really stuck. Yeah, see, look. I could probably peel that right up if I wanted. Not thrilled. Anyway, we'll carry on and discuss that in a minute. I've got some footnotes to make here. Um, different glue might hold better. This is just, you know, my old friend. Uh, it is possible. I don't know. Fabri-Tac, that glitter, art glitter glue. I don't know. I don't use those. Okay, we'll start with this one. This is done. I did ink the edges with walnut stain. You know, the Tim Holtz stuff. Whether it's going to adhere to it over time, I don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling not because that just wiped right off. But this one's done. I did not sew on it or anything. This one is done. I did sew on it. Normally, I would take a black marker and nick that in there so it's on there, but I know it's going to smear right off, so I'm not even going to do that. Uh, this one is done. It just got sewing. Put the fabric in there. It could have a word. You know, if you're a word message person, you could definitely add a word. I'm not going to. Uh, this one is being weighted down by my rock. Uh, sewing, I sewed the fabric down a little more messily than I really intended, but that's fine. Just for the record, why did you put in some zigzag on top of it? That wasn't my intent, but 
if you can tell, if you look at it, this straight stitch line is crooked. And I didn't know I was doing that. So I put zigzag over, which actually I kind of like that anyway, and then a little bit here. This one though, as you may recall, I made a note. It, I think it needs a word or something. I grabbed the Tim Holtz small talk, this is. Um, because of the black, I thought that might be good. Oh, how about attitude is everything? You can look a little, because of the undershot mouth there, look a little attitude-y. Okay. That was pretty good. Usually I kind of hunt around with this thing. All right, do we want it like this or do we want it cut apart? Or do we want it down here or here? Oh, what about here? I guess that leaves that awfully blank up there. I don't know. Is that... I think that's okay. I'll kind of center it a little more. And how well will this stick? Well, part of it will be on the paper here, so that's okay. The rest of it, I don't know. I should probably sand it. Yeah, the areas that were sanded well are fine. Except centered. I think so. All right, so this one's done. This one, I stitched around, and the story on this one is, I started here with zigzag, went up and went, oh, well, I don't want to go over it, so I stopped. And then when I took it out of the machine, I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll just do that on the corners. Fine, right, good idea. No, bad idea, because then it looked like, because of these two squares, two separate things. So then I went back with some messy straight stitch to fill it in. And that was better. Put some washi tape on. You didn't see that. And see, you got to be kind of careful. See, like, no, I, I sanded over into this spade. I wish I hadn't done that. This one's not like that. Anyway, I think this one needs a tad help. Um, it's a little boring to me. So I thought of painting um, my tried and true um spool circles here let I try that the paint will come out yeah I think that's better now, whether this paint is going to chip right off over time, uh, it's highly possible. I do think this one, when the weather will cooperate, I'm going to spray it with a sealer. Okay. All right, we'll let that sit for a sec. This one, I thought maybe could use a word. Um, I don't have to. If I don't find, I was thinking of the chit chat again because of the color. If I um, don't find one I like, I'll leave it alone. I did ink the edges of this one in black. Yeah, the inking on these don't show up a lot. Uh, the impossible is often the untried. It's not too bad. Oh, look on the bright side. Okay, because it's raining. Okay. I was kind of thinking down here. That's okay, but maybe I want it cut apart and have it kind of... Because, you know, that'll take up more time. <laughs> I have spent actually quite a lot of time on these cards, and there's only, what, six? I don't know. i got to count. And I'm not sure what I will do with them when they're done, if I'm just, you know, keeping them as art, so to speak. I don't know where I'm going to store them, because 
as I said at the beginning, they obviously are not going to fit in my binder. I guess I'll just put them in with my other artwork stuff. Yeah, this is tedious too. I'm sorry. <laughs> this video is probably going to be, you know, an hour and 40 minutes long to make silly giant ABCs. Alright, glue, book, yeah, I guess I better sand it. About five years one of these letter or words are gonna pop off right make the whole thing look ridiculous um, the whoops on the side bright All right, then I think that's sufficient for this one. Okay, uh, back to this one. I did put the Peacock Feathers color ink that's on the paper around the card. And as you can see, it's very visible on the card, not on the edge of the playing card. So I thought maybe I'll try painting it and that's the same thing. It'll chip off unless I seal it probably, but let's try. Yeah, that sh shows up a lot better. And if you're a person like me that knots all their threads, that took a long time too. I say that? Who? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I find out all kinds of things when I go back and watch these videos. One, maybe I'll show you something. Did you guys notice? Just a sec. In the beginning, when I was showing this giant, 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 the mega jumbo, how they space this <laughs> it's okay on this side I don't know all right enough of that baloney okay let's do one final look-see you can see them all done and then I'll talk about some footnotes okay there's that one I think that's pretty nice attitude is everything according to the boxer the little chickadee that does not have a message. He's just pretty. Or she. Our paper doll dress. I do like the zigzag around that. I think that's kind of fun. The bluebird of happiness. I know that's probably not actually a bluebird, but it is a blue bird. If you want to split hairs. Okay, and then this one. I'm blocking it, or am I not there? I like, I like how these turned out. I do. I like the finished look. Let me cap that. Um, I hope you do. Yeah, six. Um, I'm avoiding this one because of the paint. So, my footnotes. One, yeah, these, to me, they're just, they're too coated. They're ridiculous. 
if I was going to do this again, and I may not because I'm not overly thrilled with it, um, I would sand kind of heavily and make him, make the designs look more vintage and distressed. And that way, you know, you're sanding over the numbers or suits or whatever is going to look intentional. So I would probably go that route. Whether I'll remember that in five years when I decide to do this again is another story. Um, this one is a little bowed, if you can tell that, because this is a bigger glued down area. Um, you know, over time it'll flatten out, but it did that too. I wasn't thinking of that. Um, yeah, you know, like I said, you have to kind of be careful if you're not going to sand the whole thing. How I got, you know, sanding there where I didn't want it. So yeah, I'm not thrilled with these cards. And just, I thought for a record too, here's a standard playing card. It, I know it's hard on camera to get a, you know, idea of size. So there is that business. So there, and you know, if you um, have made anything with these, not just APCs, you know, I know Lolly Palooza did a journal and I'm not sure if she used this size or the Mega now. I I don't know. I don't remember. That video is fairly old. It's at least got to be at least a year old. Um, yeah, I should look and see what she did. But if you've made anything with these bigger playing cards, I'd like to hear what it was and your experience. Because now I have these two big decks and I don't know what to do with them. Because <laughs> like I said, I'm not really overly thrilled with, like I said, it's this. No, this one is pretty good. But three, three of them, I think it was, I had paper coming up. I had to re-glue it. Like I said, this one I'll probably spray because of the paint on it. So there. But anyway, they're cool. I do like the way they turned out. So there. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for joining me through all of this stuff. And I hope everyone has a nice, warm day out there.